My name is Alina Burroughs. Growing up, my family's entire world was law enforcement. It fueled my passion for the science of solving crimes. It's why I became a CSI. For 12 years, I processed hundreds of horrific crime scenes. But in 2008, one case changed my life. Millions know the tragic story of three-year-old Kaylee Anthony. There's something wrong. I found my daughter's car today, and it smells like there's been a dead body in the damn car. We had an obligation to her and to you and your family to bring her home. Yeah. Right? And believe me, I appreciate that. I really do. It means a lot. We didn't want to leave any of her in the woods. Because as crime scene investigators, we can't always bring them back, but we can bring them home. I thought the case that we had presented was strong. I'm Alina Burroughs. Let's talk about a manner of death ruling. Who tells you it's a homicide? What, what kind of accidental death has duct tape? There was no history of Casey being abusive to her child. Would you lie to protect Casey? As a seasoned crime scene investigator, I'm equally committed to every case, infamous or unknown. So when the average person looks at a crime scene, their view might be somewhat different than what a crime scene investigator looks at. So what I'm here to do is examine the evidence through the eyes of the people that worked these cases. I have multiple problems with this theory of a shooter approaching the house through the front door. You found a DNA profile on the rifle that was not Stacy's. That's correct. Oh my God, my is so God My empathy, I think of as a superpower because when I come to a scene, I feel the things that my victim feels, and that helps me also feel the things that the suspect felt. I know if my loved one were on the ground below, I would not take time to lock the door. Did Michelle ever confide in you about verbal or physical abuse from Jeremy? You better be nice right now. Absolutely. It could mean that there is enough evidence to change the manner of death from undetermined to homicide. And whoever is responsible for this should be very frightened. Forensic evidence doesn't lie. Doesn't lie. Because when victims are left without a voice, only the evidence can speak for them.